Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I have returned to the Oracle of Delphi um, because before I continue with my main mission, which is to seek out the Pythia in her home, um, I want to turn in a few uh, side missions. As you may remember, I picked up a number of side quests in the previous episode and I continued them to a point where I have to report back. So I did hunt some bears and deer for the love potion. Um, I did retrieve the stolen sapphires and as I expected they were in that um, fortress over here. And as you can see I finished that place. Uh, at first I just wanted to sneak in and steal the sapphires and then sneak out again. But then I got kind of carried away, very carried away because um, as you can see, I recruited almost everyone in that fort and it was a very big fort. It took me a while, maybe like half an hour, but I, I think I got almost all of them. And after that, just because I could, I also uh, recruited the local um, leader, Kapos the Trophy King, <laughs> because the um, nation influence was almost at zero, so I just went ahead and, you know, punished him in the head and then recruited him too. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to build my own army here. Um, I know that I don't really need any of these uh, lieutenants because I can only use like four of them, but I'm just going to recruit more and more of them and see um, if the game is going to tell me to stop at some point. <laughs> forget about the Athenians, forget about the Spartans. I'm going to build my own army. That's how you end a war. Um, but yeah, now I have to return the... Um, sapphires and well i did also um right um i i killed the caledonian boar um the the, the priestess of uh artemis what was her name daphne was right um the the boar i was supposed to kill for her was not an ordinary boar it's apparently a legendary animal and I'm guessing that there's more of them and she probably is going to tell me to hunt more of these legendary animals. So maybe I will do one or two of these legendary animal fights on camera. Um, I didn't I didn't include this one because it was primarily very long because uh, the boar was not just very big and strong but kept summoning like uh, uh, groups of small boars. But it wasn't all that interesting, so I don't know, maybe I will uh, later include one of these um, uh, legendary animal fights um, on camera. But yeah, um, I am not going to do like uh, the, the challenge here, yeah, the, the conquest battle, I don't really care about that. So let's just um, turn in a few quests, the love potion, the sapphires and the... Um, Caledonian boar but let's start with this one over here just call me a spineless jellyfish that that is that is quite the insult and I I retrieved those uh, sapphires for you good news found the sapphires should I ask why they're bloody well the priests couldn't cut it as thieves <laughs> if I were only a little bit younger I might have tried to cheapen the reward a bit good thing you got old <laughs> Here's a little trinket from the treasury. No one will miss it. Okay. Let's hope not, or you'll send another mercenary after me. Goodbye, Photios. <laughs> if you ever see that dog, Marcos, again, <laughs> tell him you demand minimum wage. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so uh, he gave me a bracelet and some drachma. That's neat. But I still have more um, quests to deliver. Uh, next, let's turn in the ingredients for the love potion. The 
Apparently, the people are still waiting in line here. Of course they are, because the Puthia is not actually in the temple. She's at home. Alright, I got your ingredients. Oh, is this your husband over here? You see the one who's supposed to take the love potion? Miss Theos, you're back! And not a moment too soon. <laughs> I got what you asked for. Who is this Afxesia? This is the Mistios who's going to reignite our spark, my love. Oh no! <laughs> We've been through this. I can't satisfy you anymore. You're going to kill me with your lust. Nonsense! I'm going to make you an elixir that will give you the vigor of a man a fraction of your age. God save <laughs> I cannot do this anymore. He doesn't he doesn't seem all that uh glad that I returned the ingredients. Someone pay me, let me satisfy you. I'm glad I could help. Well, I'm young and strong and vigorous, so why don't you just let me satisfy you and you can uh, give your poor your husband, husband a bit of rest. Allow me to satisfy your hunger. I've never been with a mercenary before. Very well. Let's see what you're made of. This is taking quite long. Did she have fun? That should hold her for a few days at least. <laughs> Thank you, Mistyus. Here, take this as payment. You've more than earned it. Okay, so um, I actually got even more money for this. <laughs> that was um, an interesting end to this quest. Um, but okay. I'm not sure if they actually made use of the love potion though. I'm sure that Cassandra doesn't doesn't need it. <laughs> anyway, I still have to go back to Daphne and uh, return the uh, boar or the the skin of the boar probably. And I mean, there's like, okay, yeah, the boar's pearl to Daphne. Let's just fast travel to the temple. And I'm guessing she's going to tell me that I should. Um, hunt down all the other legendary animals as well. Alright. Let's see. Where are you? I I killed your boy and you were right. It was quite the large one. Did you get lost? Here. I killed your piggy for you. Hmm. You are skilled. Of that there is You're no picky. doubt. <laughs> um, well, apparently Cassandra is yet um, not satisfied. I have plenty of talents. Of that you can be sure. Oh, is that so? Well, I look forward to putting them all to the test. Oh? And what did you have in mind? <laughs> Many things. But first, to business. There are beasts that roam this world. Yeah, not I knew it. Fully of it. They've been placed here by the gods as trials, as tests. Um, fables don't concern me. My path is already legendary. <laughs> well, I mean, I have seen that boar and that seemed like it might be supernatural. I don't know. It could summon other boars, so that is kind of suspicious. Neither god nor mortal has stopped me so far from achieving my destiny. Hmm. We will see. <laughs> what exactly do you want me to do? I want you to prove your worth in the eyes of Artemis and hunt these creatures. I don't need to prove my worth to anyone. Just tell me what's the reward. With each pelt you return, I will grant you a boon from Artemis. If you are able to slay all the beasts, well, let's say your relationship with the daughters of Artemis will be forever changed. Okay, well, I guess I'll do it. You're being very cryptic about the boon, but um, I'm, I'm curious to find out what exactly that would be. All right, I'll do it. Now, just how many of these animals are there? Artemis has laid out eight trials, and you have already started the journey. Hunt down those that remain. How will I recognize the creatures? Oh, you'll know. <laughs> 
Bring the pelts to me. I'll await your return with my sisters, the daughters of Artemis. I hope you don't make me wait too long to see your face again. So, there's going to be seven more of them. Oh, and I got a new bow. Ah, uh, well, let's see. Do I want to use that bow? Um... I probably want... Of course, I do kind of like the assassin damage on my current bow. Hmm. -hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to use this. It looks pretty interesting, though. It's apparently made from... Uh, a deer horn. Fascinating. But yeah, um, I guess that's uh, all I had to do here for the moment because um, now I have to hunt down all the other animals first before I can continue this one. A bear, another boar, the hint of Kirinea, a bull, a hyena, a wolf and a lion. Well, and, and some of them uh, are pretty high level, so this is going to take some time until I can uh, face them. But okay, um, I guess now we are going to continue with our main mission. Um, yeah, find and interrogate the Oracle. I'm pretty sure I know where she is because we've seen her house before. It's this one. So I'll head over there and uh, we will try uh, to confront her. Hopefully we will be able to talk to her in a more private setting. <coughs> Alright, I am approaching the house of the Pythia and I can already see some guards in the vicinity. So... A lot of protection for the Pythia. It is. Oh! Oh, there's a mercenary protecting uh, the Pythia as well. The is hiding inside. I'll finally get some answers. I actually ran into a mercenary on my way here, but since there's no uh, bounty on my head, uh, he didn't care about me. But if this guy is like protecting the property, he probably would attack me on sight, even without a bounty on my head. And yeah, apparently the rest are cultists. <laughs> Four of them that I have to kill and a captain. As a matter of fact, there might be even more altogether. And I'm not sure. I don't think I want to recruit cultists. I don't trust them. I may want to recruit the mercenary, although that might be difficult with all the other guards around. Um, okay, well, let's let's see what we can do here. There actually might be like a good way up onto the roof. Yep. And well, there's there's a door inside, which means um, I might be able to just sneak inside. And ignore all the other guards. Then again, I feel I should I should take care of them before I continue uh, to look for the Pythia. I mean, at some point I wanna take them down anyway. May as well do it now. Right. Going for all the normal cultists first and then um, finally uh, I will try to take down the mercenary and I might try to recruit that guy but the rest I will just Kill. Well, he's clever. He's he's standing in a place where I can't can't drop assassinate him. What about the guy over here? Yeah. 
Okay, the problem with that guy is that he's close to the mercenary. But I should be able to deal with a guy over here. on the move. Well, um, that actually might come in handy if I can lure him over to me. Where's that coming from? All right. I hope I can assassinate this guy, maybe with my so much for using finesse special ability here. Okay, there we go. That works. Oh, I think the mercenary may have found dead body. But okay, it's it's just it's just the mercenary and one cultist left. Here. here we go and now for the mercenary um, I guess fire arrows might be a good idea yeah even like an assassination is not going to harm him all that much. So let's wait for him to be in a good line of sight and I will try to shoot a few arrows at him. Oh, well. <laughs> He's finding all the dead bodies, but doesn't really know where to look for me. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, well. That didn't work out well. For some reason, my... My abilities are not assigned the way that they should. My predator shot is... Um... Not properly. Okay, there we go. For some reason, it wasn't it wasn't working. All right. Now I guess I'm just going to shoot him with a few fire arrows, and now I'll try to weaken him enough that I can take him down with an unarmed fist. <laughs> Indeed, you are. You are. <laughs> oh dear. He he really doesn't like the fire. Have some more. And make sure to uh, avoid the poison. No! <laughs> All right. Maybe like one arrow, and then I will I will try to fight him with my bare hands. I don't want to kill him. All right. Um, I think I can do the rest uh, unarmed. Oh well, but still have to make sure that I. Uh, Stay away from the poison. All right, now let's see. Why won't you? Your time is near. Well, did he just did he just fall down to his death? Where is he? 
Oh yeah, I guess I guess he fell down. Okay, well, um, that can't be helped. <laughs> I didn't even like punch him that hard, so that's that's not what I expected to happen. But okay, I mean he was intolerant. Why would I want him in my party anyway, right? Maybe it's for the better. <laughs> and there's more than enough other mercenaries I can I can recruit for my crew, so. It's a pity that it didn't work, but I can live with it. Anyway, now let's go and talk to the Pythia. Once we picked up all the treasures. And yep, that's location completed. Now let's see. No! Ah! Oh! Guards! I'm not here to hurt you. Your guards are dead. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. <laughs> Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! Your guards are dead. Don't, don't bother. Um, I am the one you should be afraid of. Please, I need to know. <laughs> well, I hope that... If I'm not being quite as belligerent, she's willing to just tell me what I want to know. I'm looking for my family, and everywhere I go people are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. <laughs> Help me, and no harm will come to you, I promise. All right, but ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. Okay, well, um, I have a few questions. Tell me about the Cult of Cosmos. What is this Cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddle. Ne I want names. I don't know. I swear. They hide behind masks and shrouds. Okay, um, so why do you work for them then? Why would you work for the Cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods, all those people, you're paid to deceive them all? Most want to know about love or death. <laughs> I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. So, you do have a choice. I mean, if they pay you, <laughs> you can just refuse the money. Oh well, I guess if, if she does refuse, they also may try to harm her, so um, maybe maybe she is indeed forced to do this. But yeah, tell me about these visions. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the temple of Apollo. Hmm. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived the terrible fall from Mount Taietos. But why? The artifact revealed that child. To be you. Okay, so I guess the artifact is some kind of precursor related artifact and that's uh, why why she can see these visions because the precursors could kind of look into the future or at least like potential versions of the future. Okay, well that makes sense. So I guess I will go and find that cult. You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more huh? than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? Oh. He's with the cult? Obviously. I can't be sure. But if he is, he would definitely have what you require. Any idea where I can find him? There is a fort just south of the Valley of the Nymph. He's been known to conduct business there. You've been helpful. May the light of Apollo guide you to your family thank you a lot that was indeed helpful 
I mean, I feel I should just be able to take a mask and an outfit. You should tell Irodotos what the Pythia told me about the cult. From one of Maybe the guards here, but... Maybe have some insight. <laughs> I guess that's not not an option, just taking one of one of the dead people's outfit here. Um, okay, talk to Herodotos. Sure, let's let's do it. Let's leave this place behind. Um, where exactly would he be? Oh, actually, not too far away. That is convenient. Um, okay. So what exactly are these symbols right here? I mean, it looks like I'm supposed to do something with that. I'm just not sure what. <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, let's go back and talk to Herodotus. And yeah, like I said last episode, I'm guessing it's supposed to be like the famous historian Herodotus, who, for example, wrote pretty extensively about uh, the history of Egypt as well. Let's talk. Well, what did the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me. But I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I can't get in without a mask and cloak. It's how the cultists identify each other. The Temple of Apollo is by the Cave of Yea. Simple enough to find. But a cultist's mask and cloak... How will you accomplish that? The Pythia gave me the only clue I need. When I'm ready, I'll meet you at the temple. For now, I'm going to kill Elpinor. <laughs> Malaka's liar. Okay. So, now we're actually going after Alpinor again. Which is kind of like my, my second main mission um, that I had in my uh, journal. Um, yeah, let's have a look at it. Snake in the grass. Alpenor is still in focus. He's in the southeastern part of the Valley of the Nymphs. He must be in Farsalos Fort. Right. Um, let's see. The Valley of the Nymphs. Valley of the Snake. Sacred Lands of Apollo. Valley of the Nymphs. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to head for um, the viewpoint first. And for all I know, this actually might be the fort. It's in the southeastern part of uh, this place and it could be like a watchtower of that fort. So yeah, um, since I don't really have any side missions left to do, I'm going to head over there and we will try to kill Alpenor. Alright, well, it looks like the viewpoint is not the fort. <laughs> it's just a tree on top of this mountain, but I hope that from this viewpoint we can see the actual fort and then move on to that location. Let's synchronize. I think we have like a settlement down there, but it doesn't look like a fort, to be honest. So yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I mean that looks like a village. Forts are usually like on top of mountains and you know, ridges of hills. Um well, I guess I gotta keep looking for it. Yeah, this has gotta be this has gotta be a village. I mean this over here looks like it could be a fort. You know it has like uh walls around it. So I guess uh, that's what we're going to check out next. And then the village can wait for later. Also look at these pretty trees around here. How beautiful. Alright, I was correct. This is the fort that I'm looking for. So let's have a closer look at it. 
This area will be well defended. I'm sure it is. Yep. There he is. Hiding in plain sight. And there's my target. Huh. Well, I guess I can try to go after Alpenor directly. Of course, I'm not sure if I can assassinate him with one strike. And if I can't, then I will be surrounded by soldiers. So maybe before I go after Alpenor, I will well, at least try to get rid of some of the other guards in here. But what is this? Okay, it's like a hidden entrance. Um, yeah, let's let's try to recruit a few of these soldiers and then we will uh, go off to Alpenor because I might not be able to assassinate him like in one one strike. I have no idea. Um, okay, I can just jump down here, right? Maybe we're going to start with this guy. Okay, this one I can just knock out. I can offer you a better life than this. Join me. And still the best way to get rid of the body. Um Okay, let's let's go after the guy on the watchtower and then we will disable the signal fire. I could go. use someone with your strength. Join my crew. And... Um... Oh, hang on a second. There's like... Guy down here that I haven't tagged yet. But I think I should be fine. And go straight for the fire. And it looks like we have a war supply in here and I guess for completeness sake I will burn it down not that I have to but let's do it anyway but first let's disable the fire there we go and now let's first loot and then destroy the treasure and we do have some more stuff around here but like the proper Looting I will do once I'm done with this place and killed all the guards or recruited them For now, let's just focus on the basics Okay, um Oh, there's like a new guy On on the battlements Um Okay, apparently he is just replacing the guy that I just recruited, so I might be able to do the same with him. Ah, uh, we have like one guy standing over there. I hope he's not going to notice me when I take down this guy. Alright. My ship needs sailors like you. Join us. Of course, that's like one of the elite guys. Um, again, I might not be able to take him down in just one strike. And I'm not sure if I want to go into open combat just yet. Well, let's let's go a little bit closer and let's see if we can just knock him out. Um. Well, can I can I climb higher without this guy noticing me? I can't perform a ledge assassination though, so that's a pity. Um, okay, I, I have to find like a different way around here. And there's like a guy somewhere over there. Okay, well he's he's far enough away, I think. Um, yeah, this guy, this guy is a bit of a problem. Um, I have to find a different way to get around him. Alright. Oh, now he's walking again. 
Okay. Let's see. Um, well, maybe, maybe I'll deal with that guy later. Oh, oh, there's, there's another one. As a matter of fact, this is a guy that isn't properly tagged yet. Okay. There's a lot of them all of a sudden. Oh, that's Elpenor. Well, I am... Um, I, I guess I can I can check out and see if I can take him down in like one one single strike. But first, let's let's maybe deal with this guy because <gasps> should be able to get rid of him quickly. If you're willing to work for it, I pay my crew more than you'll ever make here. All right, Elpenor. I saw you. All right, I can I can just assassinate him. A decoy one strike. Why am I not surprised? Elpinor, you coward! Elpinor knew I would come for him. <laughs> Use that imposter to lure me to a trap. Your plan oh. failed, Elpinor. Soon you will join your imposter. So it wasn't Elpinor. It it was an imposter. I just killed the wrong person. <laughs> well, that's a pity, specifically for the imposter, but. Yes, he knew the danger. Um, okay, letter from Elpenor. Make sure you kill the so-called messenger of the gods this time. I await news of your success in the cave behind the snake ruins in the valley of the snake, Elpenor. So, um, I, am I supposed to be the messenger of the gods? That is interesting. Either way, apparently Elpenor is not inside this fort, so... Um, maybe I'm just going to uh, leave this behind now and I re will return later to recruit everyone else and clean out the treasures and so on. Um, let's see where we have to go for the next quest. He's hiding in the western part of the Valley of the Snake. Alpeno is in a cave near the Snake Temple. Okay, I mean, there are only like two locations in this place, so... I guess I'll fast travel to the Temple of Apollo, well, once I'm out of here, that is. And then we will go down here and uh, look for Elpenor in the Valley of the Snake. Um, but yeah, first I need to leave this place. And I guess while I'm here I can at least um, destroy the war um, treasure in sight here. And Recruit this guy. Sail with me and put this life behind you. There we go. It's another member of my crew. Um, right. Let's use a torch. Oh well. Um, that that is not the part of the space I wanted to burn, but I guess it works. Alright. Now, let's get out of here. Oh, um, well... I, I don't, I don't have any, any more business here. I was, I was trying to kill Elpenor, but he's apparently not in the fort, so... I'll be on my way. I'll be back later to recruit the rest of you. <laughs> okay. I mean... All things considered, this worked out pretty well. Um, right, once I'm out of combat, I will try to fast travel. Can I fast travel now? Yes, I can. Okay. Off to the valley of the snake it is. Okay, well, um, looks like... This is the Valley of the Snake. Uh, so I guess this over here is the Snake Temple, huh? Well, um, how do I get there? How do I get across this canyon? Uh, well, there might be a way down here. And since fall damage is not going to kill me, I'm just going to jump down here. All right. Nikolaus won't leave snakes in the grass, but I wasn't expecting this. 
Well, were you expecting like literal snakes? Okay, we have Cultus again and a captain. Death is coming for you, Elpinor. And apparently Alpinor is inside the cave. Yes, he is. And yeah, we have a bunch of cultists in the area. Oh! Oh! What? What is this? Huh. I mean, it looks like a fossil, but that's no fossil of any prehistoric animal that I'm aware of. That looks more like a dragon. Oh well, a giant snake. I guess that's why uh, this place is called a snake temple, right? Um, okay, well, there's there's a bunch of guards all over this place. Um, I mean, I'm primarily concerned with the ones over here because that's where I have to go. So maybe I'm not going to kill all of them just yet, but just... You know, try to find a good way up here. All right, let's see. I should be extra careful in this area. Mm. Yeah, it probably would be better to approach from the other side, from you know, on top of the cliffs, and I can just drop down and assassinate the guards. Um. Well. I don't know. At least the cultists seem to be pretty spread out and far away from each other, so I might be able to take down a few of them unnoticed and make my way over to the cave. For example, the guy over here. He seems to be pretty far away from everyone else. Um Oh, uh well He's surprisingly vigilant though. But once again this might work in my favor if I can find like a good spot to attack him here. Alright. And since they're cultists I'm just going to kill them right away without bothering to recruit them. Okay, well that's one of them down, but a bunch of others are still roaming the area. Well, I might be able to perform like a nice ledge assassination here. Let's see. Yep. And and his shield remained. Okay, um, that's two of them down, but still a lot to go. At least I would like to, you know, get rid of the two in this area before I move on. You want to come over here, where I am. <laughs> uh, he doesn't. He doesn't seem to realize that someone's whistling. You know, we have another guy over here who might notice me. Um. Okay, but that guy is walking away, so this could be my opportunity to take out the one over here. Oh, but now he is turning around again. Why don't you just come over here? Maybe if I show myself for like a second, I can make him come over here. Yep, that worked. No Alright, let's do this. Okay, going well so far, now let's maybe try to climb up here and 
we can deal with the other two from above. Of course, I still lack like a double assassination or something to get rid of the two at the same time. So I may have to wait for one of them to walk away again. Alright, let's see. Um, well, this guy is not available for a drop assassination, but this guy might be now. Alright, let's, let's follow him. Yep, there we go. That worked out well. Now. One more, one more target. Maybe you want to come over here, huh? Gotta come closer. Gotta come closer. And there we go. That's five of seven cultists. Um, of course, the captain is still missing, but um, I can I can uh, take care of them later. Let's go after Alpenor now instead. The real one, hopefully. Looks like he has his back I turned towards me. Oh, but... Uh, what a shame. Apparently he, you rich he has eyes at the back of his head. <laughs> Alright, I guess in that case we actually have to fight him in close combat. Oh, wow. Um... <laughs> Nice, nice move you have here. I just hope that all the other guards are far enough away that they're not going to interrupt me here. Alright. Try to block properly and evade when he has one of his glowy attacks. <laughs> you really think you, you stand a chance against the Mystios? I mean, come on. You don't even look that tough. And right, I do have like a new um, skill, which I think is like a shield break attack. Of course, he doesn't have a shield, so that's not going to do anything here. Maybe we're going to use this one instead. Take it personally, Matthews. Your mother is the one we really want. Why? Will you will you answer me a few more questions about this? And block. And debate. All right. I think I'm I'm getting a hang of the combat. I definitely am. Um, would have been nice if I could have assassinated him. Then again, you never know if you can actually assassinate them with one strike. I may not have been able to do this. Don't fight it. The cult always gets what it wants. We already have Demos. We'll find your mother and you'll be dead. Who is Demos? Well, can you can you maybe uh, answer some of my question because I have quite a few of them. <coughs> Killing me is a mistake. Trusting you on Kefalonia was a mistake. I am the reason you left that island alive. The cult wanted you dead. What cult? Where are they? <laughs> <coughs> Well, I guess I'm not getting any more answers from him. But what is that? The small shard I found on El Pinor is like nothing I've ever seen. Might come in handy. Okay. So I got some mysterious artifact from him, but I also got... Uh, the outfit and the mask that I need to infiltrate the cult. 
Alright, but I think um, the cult infiltration will have to wait for the next episode. Um, so I will quickly pick up all the loot in here and I will make sure to kill all the remaining cultists. Um, so yeah, as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.